Hey guys, oh wow. Yeah, this is attractive. Excuse Wow, no matter how I do it. Anyways, <laughs> so it's been a hot minute, I guess, since I did a video for you guys. Um, how is the, probably wondering, how is the Orlando collection coming along? It's coming along a little bit better. The phone case is actually right here. Haha. -ha. So here's the phone case. This is what was on the loom. I fixed it. And that has two little, little, um, what call it, uh, awareness ribbons on it. So yeah. Um, actually nobody's put in orders yet and I'm actually kind of starting to run low on red. So, don't know what I'm going to do if people start to order. Um, so, I think I have Jolly Red. So, might save my ass. Anyways, so today's not going to be a looming video. It's not going to be a coloring video. It's not even going to be an asthma video. It's going to be something that I think maybe you all might have some questions about and I know that there's a lot of girls out there who start their periods and they're like, oh my god, what do I do? Calm down, it's nothing to worry about. I'm 20 years old and I'll be honest right now, my periods have been very sporadic. For those of you who do not want to hear about this, or you basically think you know everything about you know, periods and stuff like that, you might not want to watch this. Guys, you don't have to watch this if you do not have to, if you do not want to. I don't know if I have any guy subscribers or viewers out there, or if you guys may have just clicked on this for a random reason. Whatever, you don't have to watch this. You can leave. Go ahead, be my guest. I'll let you do that. Whatever. <laughs> you can see Annabelle up there. God. <laughs> I know it's not the actual Annabelle doll. I just call her Annabelle because after I saw the movie and after I worked with the puppet, I, I just realized I have an Annabelle doll. Now that's Princess Anastasia, Anastasia up there. So yeah. Um, anyways, so now to the video. So this is going to be period hacks for you young girls who are starting their period. Now first of all, it's nothing to freak out about. It's completely natural. Uh, I started my period when I was maybe about, I want to say, hmm, maybe 12 or 13. I'm not exactly sure. Um... <clears throat> Thankfully, I started it while I was here at home rather than school, which is so good because I know a lot of girls, you start your periods at school and it can be the most embarrassing thing ever because you're sitting there and you're like, holy crap, I'm bleeding out of my vagina. What am I going to do? And you get scared <laughs> and maybe some of your moms probably prepped you for it. You may have a, an emergency period packed in your backpack or your locker or whatever. But some of us aren't really that lucky and we don't really know what, you know, what to do in that situation. So definitely you want to keep, you want to have a period pack in your backpack or in your locker at school, whether you're, it's your first time or, you know, you've already had your period for two or three years, because trust me, your period will just come out of the blue. Aunt Flo doesn't care if you're at school or not, she's going to come visit. <laughs> and I can't tell you how many times I've started my period at school. And I'm like, holy fucking crap, what am I going to do? There's been times where I have not had any pads or underwear with me, and I have to go the whole day. Yeah, that's not good because you can seriously get infections from that. It is not pretty. My, I'm sorry, my hair is pissing me off. It's frizzy as hell, so I'm going to put it up in a ponytail while I'm talking to you guys. So, um, so yeah, um... The, what you should have in your period pack is definitely my dolls, um, pads, underwear, um, preferably underwear that's, you know, white or something, you know, a solid color so that way, you know, people don't make fun of you if they see you in the bathroom and you're changing into your little My Little Pony underwear or whatever. I'm not saying anything bad about My Little Pony, I love My Little Pony, it's one of my favorite shows. Yes, I am brony, you know. Um, so the first thing that you're going to want to have in your, um, period pack, as I said, are my dolls or some kind of muscle relaxer, ibuprofen, whatever, because when your cramps hit you, they hit you hard like a bitch. You don't want to be in homeroom studying or whatever, middle of class, and then you get a cramp. You're like, oh, kill me. Kill me now. Just, I'm down. Trust me. It's not fun. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, the next thing would definitely be some feminine wipes because... These will actually save you because you don't want, you know, you, you don't want, basically, you don't want your crush to smell you when you're like that. You don't, you, you don't want to paint that picture for him or her. You don't want to do that. <laughs> so these are actually the Always Feminine Whites in the Spring Blossom scent. I actually normally use uh, Vagisil, 
but when I was at the store, I saw these right next to the Vagisil, and they are like two bucks, you know, cheaper than the Vagisil, so I'm like, you know I'm going to try these and see if they work. So I bought these ones and also the Fresh and Clean scent. So, and I actually really, really like the design on the package because even if you took the sticker off and, you know, somebody just saw this lying on the ground or whatever, they wouldn't know what it was. So, yeah. And what I like is that they're actually bigger than the Vagisil wipes. So, they're actually the size of a regular wipe. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, you could keep this in your locker, in your backpack, whatever. I've actually seen people, they'll get um, pencil cases, you know, like the zip pencil case. And they'll make that their period, um, pop, uh, their emergency period kit. Um, they all hit, they have, like I said, they have my dolls, wipes, period pads. Um, I'll link a few videos in the description. I promise I will do this because I'm horrible at it. <laughs> I've watched um, a vlog. Um, her name is uh, Remy Ashton on YouTube. She has two channels, Remy Ashton and Remy Life. And in one of her videos, her friends is trash talking her because she will, you know, talk the whole video about somebody or something. And she'll say, I'll put a link in the description, you can go ahead and check it out. And she never does that. And I realize I'm horrible at that sometimes too. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, so, you know, oh wait, I can't do it because I access Instagram on here. Anyways, so I was going to say, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put out a call to action to my followers and see if they have questions too. But I can't do that. Um, so, anyways, so, yeah, that's another thing you might want to do is the period of dinner. And they keep that in their, you know, in their, you know, in their binder, wherever. They want to keep it you know, out of sight, out of mind. You know, so yeah. Um, another thing that my grandma actually, she does, um, because I'll be honest, like when you get to a certain age, you deal with incontinence. So I, I'm dealing with it. It's, you know, just natural. <clears throat> um, so what she does is she saves um, wipey pouches like this, or like your, you know, your little always thing, and she puts, um, pad wrappers in here, so, yeah, I'll show you, so what she does is, so that way my grandpa or anybody who takes out the trash doesn't have to touch the actual pad, is she opens it like it's a, um, like it's a, what do you call it, a, um, here, I'll show you, actually, hold on, I will be right back. Ignore my messy dresser for a second, guys. And I'm coming over here. Okay. Alright. So, I will demonstrate for you what she does. So that way, whoever takes out the trash doesn't have to touch the actual pad itself. Okay, so here is the seam. That's where it opens, you know, you can open it, you know, whatever. So what she does is she opens it like it's a bag. Like this. She pulls the sides apart. That was really good. <laughs> and then she, when she's supposed to put it on, she takes this little thing off here, the little protectant. She takes it off and she, you know, she puts that side and then she puts the wrapper into the wipey pack. So that is something that you might want to do if you live in a house with a bunch of men or if you're the only girl among, you know, a bunch of guys, you know? Or like, say, if you're in college. And you have a roommate who is a guy, you know, and he takes out the trash, it's his job. So he doesn't have to touch a nasty, bloody, or, you know, whatever pad. So yeah, well, okay, that's gone. So yeah, so, and then she, well, what I do is I stick the wrapper thingy inside the little side here. So that way, I don't lose it. And yeah, and then what you do is you just do this. is really hard to do. I'm like, I'm looking in the mirror, but I'm also looking at the camera and it's really hard. So that way, it's again, out of sight, out of mind. You know, you throw this, you know, in your room, you know, somewhere in the bathroom. People think it's a package of wipes. So there you go. Um, let's see, another thing is um, on your period, let's see here. Hmm. Oh, coloring. The coloring is actually really good for when you're on your period. I've done it when I've had my period, and it just kind of, it calms you, basically. So, you know, doing something like that, doing something 
where you're not focused on it because the more you feel, I feel like the more you focus on it, the more it's the worse it's gonna be. Um, so yeah. Um, another great thing to have is a period tracker. So that way you can keep track of your periods. Um, a lot of I've uh, I guess I've seen um, a lot of um, uh, packages of pads and stuff. They'll come with a calendar, so that way you know you can keep track of the day you start when you're ovulating and stuff. Um, what I like to use is a period tracker app, um, and it keeps track of the, you know your period, the day you ovulate, you know different stuff. Um, which you don't really have to worry about your ovulation unless you're trying to get pregnant or if you've missed the period. It, so it's like yeah. Um, so yeah, for those of you who are probably asking why having you know, your period, why is it very sporadic? I, to be honest, I really don't know why. Um, there's, there, there's been thought that it might be because you see, I'm trying to make the transition to cloth pads. I haven't had, I just haven't had the money to do it. Um, I've even already picked out a design that I want, um, but I just haven't had the money to do it. Um, <clears throat> so. There's been speculation on my part that it might be due to the fact that uh, pad companies, when they make the pads, they put a lot of chemicals into it to make it bleach white and stuff like that. So maybe it's the chemicals that are in it that are make oh that are making me uh, that are making it you know kind of like that. Um, so I don't even know. So yeah, I've done blood tests. They're looking at it to see if it might be in part due to the prednisone. Um, so yeah, another good thing that you want to have while you're on your period, because you're going to be bleeding nonstop for a week or so, is um, a really good moisture barrier. What I use from time to time is Calm Accepting uh, Ointment. Um, it's really good. Um, it's a moisture barrier, pre prevents um, and heals skin, irrita skin irritations. So like say if I had a burn or something, or let me see here. Okay, like say if I had a burn somewhere, I could put this on it and it'd be completely fine. No moisture is going to you know, stick to it or anything like that. So I use that from time to time. Um, yeah, you know, and just really keeping yourself clean, uh, using the wipes, um, using um, bad, uh, some kind of uh, vaginal wash. What I would recommend is because periods are really known to mess with your pH balance is I would definitely recommend one that's good for your pH balance um, or that doesn't really mess with it a lot. Vagisil has one out. Um, they also have an order block so you could really decide if you want an order block one of the pH balance. Um, I don't know what pH stands for so do not ask me. I'm not at all, you know, an expert in this, I'm just because I you know, deal with it. Um, do not wear white pants or anything if you're not exactly sure when your period starts. If it's like, say, if you're going to a wedding or something around the day that you know you're starting your period, don't wear anything that wear black pants or something because if you start your period while you're dancing or something and you go to the bathroom and you're like, oh. I'm bleeding. Well, this dress is ruined. You don't want to be like that. So, um, so yeah, I'm looking, I'm trying to, like, this is what I do when I'm trying to figure out if there's anything I missed. If you guys have noticed that, I look around, I look around a lot. <laughs> um, what else could I possibly include? Okay. Um, oh, there's also a lot of speculation that your cravings on your period aren't really your cravings. I'm sorry, but do not listen to that. Girl, if you want to go out and buy a whole freaking case of Hershey chocolate bars, do it. <laughs> That's another thing. Do not, I repeat, do not go to like, <laughs> like you've heard the term, don't go shopping when you're hungry. Try not to go into like the M&M store when you're on your period, because girl, you go and buy that whole store out. Um, another thing is, um, girls, no matter how many times guys tell you, do not do it because you can get an infection, that's a debate. I personally wouldn't do it because I don't want to get sick. Um, 
do not have sex or anything like that while you're on your period. A lot of guys will try, will try and tell you, you won't get sick, it's good for you, stuff like that. Don't listen to them. Because it's blood, it's the, it's the lining of your uterus, and you don't really know what is coming out. So there might be bacteria there that's trying to come out, and you know, yeah, you don't want to get sick. So do not do that, do not listen to them. Just tell them, hell no, get your ass away from me. So yeah, um, what else? Oh, wash your hands really good before and after you touch that area. Uh, I can't think of anything else. I really can't. I think that is it done. So I will see you guys next time in the next video. Um, I might go ahead and shoot it. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. But, you know, yeah. Um. Hmm. What to do? Okay. <laughs> I might do an asthma update because I haven't done one of those yet, so I might do another you know, video today. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later, bye! And good luck girls, for those of you who are just getting your periods, I hope this helped you a lot. Um, my Instagram is in the description, I just got Instagram, so make sure you go and follow me, that is in the description. Um, my Facebook is there as well, um, what else? Oh, and I also got something else down there. My Snapchat. Yes, I have a Snapchat now. So if you guys want, you guys can go and check me, find me on Snapchat, add me. So this way, if you guys have any questions about, you know, asthma or anything really, you can ask me. Um, I'm kind of new to Snapchat, so it might take me a while to figure that out. But I've seen that you can call people on Snapchat. You can actually, like, chat. You no know, I, I, you know, it's... The only thing that I don't like is some of those filters. Oh my god, I've seen so many freaking, like, a dog face filters and cow and, like, I, I like the Coachella, you know, flower crown one. That one is pretty. But all the animal filters, oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, so many on Facebook. It's so annoying. Like, seriously, man, just, no. I'm gonna go before this turns into a rant and makes this video even longer. <laughs> Alright guys, bye. <coughs>